Hi, everybody. Oh, I am live. I am live. I am live. Just waiting for something else to kick in. I'm going to have a little cough here. Um, let's see. Is that going? I think so. I'm not sure. Let's let's get going anyway. Let's talk about Lurgy. Oh, my goodness. Of which I've manifested. Yay. Oh, it's so interesting. Um, so I'm going to be coughing through this. <clears throat> excuse me but I wanted to talk about it because it's, it's a perfect example of a lot of what I do with my work so I, I thought I'm going to talk about it so I've been posting about it and it's interesting the responses um, especially as I said I'm going to continue posting on social media as that's you know what my coaches suggest and I kind of thought yeah why not I'm okay you know I'm feeling rough very rough but I'm okay if I didn't feel like it I wouldn't but um and and I've had uh people trying to fix me <laughs> that's always a good one I think people trying to fix you and so I really wanted to talk about the body and um ah, oh, one of my oh no we have got people looking hello hello um I really wanted to talk about the body because I think it's something that sits in our western culture um, with bodies and illness is a fix it mentality and I have to say this is a soapbox arena for me oh my goodness there are going to be loads of people who disagree with me about this like I really don't flipping care I was about to swear then um, there is a real fix it mentality in our culture about health and what I have discovered over the years and I feel like I'm in a pretty qualified position to talk about it um is that fixing is not the same as healing. And when you create healing, it's not always pretty, it's definitely not quick, but you create sustained balance in your system, body, mind, spirit, and emotions over the long term. My aim with my system is to create that sustained, speak, sustained balance over time and keep that. And it's gonna move, it's gonna nudge, it's gonna shift, obviously. But once we um, put that foundation, that blueprint in, in place, then we're always working on a fluid balance with it. And that is completely different from getting symptoms like Lurgy and fixing them. And there's a lot out there that will do that. And, and I have seen over the years that doesn't work. It doesn't work because all that happens is the symptoms come back because you're not addressing the underlying issue. So somebody made a comment on my LinkedIn post about with a, a load of suggestions, which was quite very kind of them. But I know what's happening right now is my body saying to me, you need to slow down. You need to stop. You powered through Christmas. You had some stressful time with family. You powered through more time, which was fairly stressful for me with family. And I won't go into that right here. And this is the crash point. And my system is saying, we can't do this. We need to rest. We need to reset. We need to balance. So what it's not looking for is fixing it, Fi fixing it to get to a place because we need to continue functioning again. This is my system saying, no, we need to slow down and actually have some time out. So what I've done is cancel a few things over the next few days and shift a few other things around so that I've got more time to rest and heal. And, and it can go at my body's pace. So it's not me shoving a load of things into my body, trying to get it well so I can function again, like it's a flipping machine. And like I say, there'll be people who disagree with me out there about this. Um, and, and, and as one of my beautiful mentors, Helen Tudor says, other opinions are available. Other opinions are available. And opinions, but other opinions are available. And this is mine and I know it works. So 20 years ago, I was diagnosed with cancer and given six months to live if I did nothing medically. It took me four years and I holistically healed. It was not a quick experience. I did lots of different things. Some of it was trial and error. Uh, some of it was on my own. Some of it was with help from other facilitators. And I got to, after four years, I got to a place of what I call foundational healing. So that's what I call the, I, I rerouted myself and that was the point from which I could continue healing or, or almost really start the process. Um, 
because it was like those four years were really in survival and then it became about the bigger healing on all levels and in and what I see with my clients who come for sessions is it's also not a quick experience and you do unearth things as you are healing and as you unearth things you manifest other things so it's not a once and done and it's definitely not a straight line um and like I say other opinion other opinions are available but this is mine and this is what worked and it is through listening to my own body trial and error responding accordingly because I don't always listen as we can see right now if I had been listening there was there's different actions I would have taken over the last let's say six weeks um but I overrode some of the messages that were coming through and this is the result so I'm not surprised I'm like oh okay just a little inconvenient right now <laughs> as I've got <clears throat> I've got a lot on but bodies will bodies will pull rank on you when they decide not when you think it's it's appropriate and that's what we have to remember um and my information and working with my clients through movement and through transformational clairvoyant energy work is we listen to the body and we work with the body accordingly we don't shut down unless we need to we don't have to shut down but we go at the pace of our body and and we listen to those messages as we go along. And it's very easy when you've never had any major health issues to take your body for granted. Very, very easy. But having had two major uh, near-death experiences in my life, I don't do that. And I question other people when they are suggesting I do that. Whether it's a coach or a healer, I'm, I, my alarm bells go off. I'm, I'm like, okay, that may work for you. You had an idiot experience? Probably not. You just wait. You know, if you get if you get that serious health crisis, you respond differently. So, it's the it's learning to listen to my system that's helped me work with many other women, and I work with women mainly over forty who are in menopause or out the other side, helping them reclaim their bodies, their confidence, their health and well being. And we do this through movement, dance and transformational energy work. And um, it's working with them, working with my own body that I've got to see how that really does work. You are generally happier for longer overall. You make better decisions. It's not this kind of crash and burn experience of life. You you move with more fluidity. It's You dance through life quite literally. You learn to dance through life or with life. Um rather than this kind of crash and burn, which I've done all of that. I've done all of that and I still have experiences where I push myself and it's the, the, the result is the same. I crash. So when I have these moments, I get to go, oh, okay, let's just do a bit of reflection here. What's happened up to this point? What was I listening to? What wasn't I listening to? How do I, how do I move forward? So I wanted to just kind of talk a little bit about that. It seemed like the perfect time to do it, but I think I'm going to get off now before I start having a coughing fit. And um, so I work with women and I help them create that sustainable level of healing, body, mind, spirit and emotions. Um, and I do this in my six week one to one program, Supercharge Your Life, which is based around how I holistically healed from cancer. Um. And we look at all of the um, elements that I believe underpin health and well-being. So we've got movement, mindset, meditation and energy work. And I kind of see them as, as two different things. Mindset is the mental stuff. Meditation and energy work, we're looking at your soul, your spirit, that intangible part of you. Emotions, massively key to healing. If you're ignoring your emotions, your emotions, good luck with that. It, for me... The moments when I can have my emotions, release them and cry is when I have the best connection into my body. Um, I'm going to start doing videos on all of these areas because I want to talk about them in more detail. Where did I get to? Meals, eating with intuition and me time, which is your self-care, which can be anything. So uh, uh, as far as I'm concerned, self-care can be candles with a bathtub or nightclubbing and and drinking. It depends what self-care means to you. 
So in this program, Supercharge Your Life, we look at you. I don't have a blueprint that says you need to fit this mold. We look at you and we look at those areas. We clear, we clarify blocks, we clear the way, and then we create a plan for change. So at the end of the six weeks, you feel amazing in yourself. You feel self-empowered. You feel ready to go back out there in life and really enjoy what you've created in this beautiful body that you have. And you have a blueprint to refer back to if you get stuck or lose your way. Because as we make changes, as we do different things in our lives, as the kids leave home or a relationship breaks up, everything changes again. And we have to come back to basics sometimes to reset. So that's the program. If you're interested, DM me the word super. It's 999 for the rest of January. It goes up to 1200 from February. All right. Have a great afternoon, morning, evening, wherever you are in the world.